So here's what we're starting with. I have a source file, which is a ray set I generated from a radiant source model of a particular Cree LED. I generated a million rays from that, and I've placed it in the center of a polar detector, which I have here. The polar detector is this sphere, and it's detecting the angular power of the uh, source. And I also have a flat detector here, a detector rectangle, that is measuring the spatial distribution of the source as it lands on that detector. The polar detector shows me uh, plenty of angular details. So here is what the polar detector is seeing, and you can see that we have power going out to about just about 90 degrees. So there's a little bit of power coming out all that way. If I prefer, I can look at the directivity plots of the uh, LED data. And you can see again that I've got data, you know, I've got some power coming out to, to high angles. Most of, the, most of the power has dropped by down to by about 60 degrees, but there's still some, some power further out. If I look on the flat detector as a cross section, you can see I'm getting a kind of a, what you'd expect from a kind of a Lambertian source. But in angle space on that detector, you'll see that it's being cut off at around about 50 degrees uh, or so, 48 degrees. And that's because rays at a higher angle don't hit this detector. So this detector can only see out to about uh, 25, uh, out to about 50 degrees. And our goal in this example is to make an LED collimator lens, which is going to take this broadly uh, radiating LED and produce a collimated beam from it.